The first thing I thought, as a singer having to do videos all the time and having to time things with the lyrics, when you did the entrance and the song, I was like, how did? How many times did you have to do that? I think 27 was the official take on the day. No, you because was Fred, that like one of the hardest? Fred ones? had nine years in order, 14 years in order to figure this out. Yeah. It was nearly impossible. You think that song lasts a long time? It's not. That song does not last a long time. When you got to carry a thing in, take off a jacket, open yeah. a closet door, pull a sweater off a hanger, I had a put the jacket panic on a hanger. Watching it. Mari, the boss, Mari Heller, uh, uh, our our director, she she confessed to me later on that she blew it that she could have made it easier because she found out that Fred's blue shoes were already halfway tied. They were bigger than his feet anyway, so they went on really easy. The, then the shoes that come off are also bigger than my feet, so those come off easy. But oh. I had to do the full tie. You know, crisscross, applesauce, crisp. Yeah, the, 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 I the, watched. The, uh, rabbit goes around the ear and yes. the whole, I had to do that whole thing. He only had to do the rabbit around the, uh, the fly around the oh rabbit. Oh my gosh. It was, a, it was a nightmare. <laughs> So what's the nicest thing? Because we have a whole neighbor thing we do on our show, too, because the whole reason why I signed on to do this show is because I feel like we're really divided. So I wanted my show to kind of connect people and actually meet your neighbors instead of being on your phone all the time and actually be present. And so I was curious, like, have you ever had, like, a really cool neighbor moment in we, your life? Uh, my dad was uh, divorced, and he was working in the restaurant business, so there were three kids that were living in an apartment complex in Alameda, California. My dad would leave us food to prepare, frozen peas and vegetables that we would literally just take to the garbage chute. And, and, and yeah. frozen, we just throw it away because yeah. we're not making those peas. So we had really, really super bad eating habits. Yeah. And um, a lady moved over and she had three kids. One of, one of them was, I only remember one name, his name was Marco. But she lived just like two doors down on the opposite side yeah. of the hall. Yeah, in and that, her door was always open a crack because we could always just go in and out. Oh. And she would always make us, uh, make us food. Corn dogs, uh, the first time you have I'm a Texan, corn dog so. made with love. Tom, yes. would you like a corn Yes, what is a corn dog? It was yes. magnificent. Every kid kind of has something they latch onto when they're younger, and I love that Mr. Rogers pulled that out of Lloyd. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because Matthew Reese's character played Lloyd, and he had Ted, the he, original yeah, Ted. Yeah, we compared notes on all of this <laughs> yeah. stuff. And I, I, I don't remember having anything that was given to me, but I remember buying that thing that I had my heart set on. Yeah. Major Matt Mason, the posable, bendable astronaut doll by Mattel. Major Matt Major Matt Mason. Mason. This was during, so you know, specific. men were landed on the moon, and it cost $1.95. Five. You had, I had a paper dollar, I had some nickels, I had a couple of quarters. It was all your money. Half, I, yeah. I saved up $1.95, yeah. went to Clark's Drugstore on my brother's borrowed bicycle, <laughs> picked it off the rack. The you, know, you know, it has, it's in the plastic shell and it's on a rack. You've got to kind of yes. like work it loose, then yes. you take it up. And the shelf is here, and the lady, I put it down mm -hmm. and I put out all my coins. And she says, all right, very good. And with sales tax, that will be $2.06. <gasps> Oh, that's sad. I was 11 cents short. Did she spot you? No. <gasps> that is wrong. No. That is not a neighborhood. Good life thing. lesson. Oh. Son, you're close. Go out and earn another 11 cents. And I found, you know, I oh. went home and went through the cushions, you know, oh. of the couch. Lift up the tank of the toilet. There might be something We in did there. that, too. In the movie, people recognize you. I love this part in the movie. When they recognize you and all the kids start singing oh, that, the yeah, theme that song. Oh, yeah, that really happened. So has that ever happened to you? When Big came out, my dad and my stepmom were in New York, and we went to a really fancy restaurant. There was a pianist and a harpist and a violinist. They wow. were playing a little music. And, uh, you know, the, the piano dance in Big was yeah. the heart and soul? Well, suddenly a piano and a harp and a violinist started playing heart and soul. Oh, my thing. gosh. And that was, I said, I, I think this is because... This is because of the move. Dun, do you da, get da, embarrassed da, in that da, situation, da, da. or do you think it's cool? It's better than the other stuff they yell at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, son, you know, <laughs> I get a lot of that. <laughs> Brace for impact. Anything that landed oh in a movie We actually is... call our balls Wilson and our There you go. <laughs> we know we're like, grab Wilson, put I him in get a car. A, get a little <laughs> bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Houston, you have a problem, you know. <laughs> But how did playing Mr. Rogers change you as a person? I'm asking you this because I grew up watching Mr. Rogers, and it changed me as a child and helped yeah. me develop. But at the same time, watching it as an adult, like as I've seen the documentary and I've also seen the, the film, it thing, is, yeah. and and it does change you. It makes you rethink your actions with your children, especially as an adult. Well, the, you know, every role he comes on enlightens you somehow. I mean, because you have to ponder something about what the character goes through and how it relates to your own life. And there hasn't been a time I haven't walked away from a job thinking like, oh man. I got to rethink that aspect of my personality they all defects. Change you. Oh. Mr. Rogers was all about listening to invest in what the other person is saying. 
since then, I have, I have made a study of how I listen to people. There's this acronym, W-A-I-T. Mm -hmm. That stands for why am I talking? There, I, there have been many times where I've been in a circumstance where I have told myself to shut up yeah. and start listening. And uh, it's been an extraordinary, uh, I, I've learned so much about my kids by listening yeah. to them more than asking them questions. But the, you have to work at it. The concept of listening is a, is a human endeavor. Uh, yeah. And there are just been so many times where, uh, contrary to my nature of being so so glib and loud, um, I I have been working on listening better. Matthew and Susan were both telling us that you gave the most awesome rap gift. Like they were like, it's so beautiful. It's leather. It's inscribed. It's, it's like so beautiful. It, yeah. Yes, and they were like, we. I just don't know what, so it, what is. it is. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have okay? And you're right. Tom Hanks, so they were too afraid to ask. Here's what it is. It's it's when when you show up to work on a movie, you have a copy of the the pages that you're they're called sides. Sides, yeah. The the script pages that you're shooting that day and the call sheet, so everybody knows exactly what you're doing. They are leather holders for those sides, oh. and this little pen, and you can That's keep notes thoughtful. on it. I've used it on complicated days, and because uh, you, you you need to know, and yeah. the fact that neither Susan nor <laughs> Matthew knew what they were. No, but the fact that they are were these two... people professional no, actors. No, I don't they understand. They were, I think they were like, it's so beautiful. But and she even said, I don't know, some sort of sad. One. I don't know what she said. Who's is it a coin but, purse? I don't care. No, but it was funny though because then uh, uh, they're gonna figure it out though, and it makes perfect sense. It's the most perfect wrap. It's gift. a tool. It's beautiful. Now they know. Now they the know. The more you know. Yeah. So, so take NBC. it down from the shelf, <laughs> take it out of its shrink wrap, and yeah. use the damn things for crying out loud. I want to say thank you so much for a kid that grew up with Mr. Rogers. You did such a great job. Like it was, I mean, like anybody had any doubt, but it's just a, that's an important role for a lot of people and you did such a great job. Oh, well, thanks. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.